Okay, so we're gonna blur this license plate from this car. It's coming actually from out of frame into frame. And then is even though it's going away and it's hard to see, we're gonna try to um, to blur the license plate as much as we can. So the first thing that we gotta do is to establish the in point. So I'm gonna be right here. You can move the frames by moving the arrows left and right. And then right there. And then I'm gonna do a cut, Command B. And then from there, we're gonna go all the way to as much as we like to go. In fact, right there, I don't think we see anything, so we can probably go back a little bit. Maybe right there. I mean, and then we're gonna make another cut. Boom. So we're gonna select the clip, and we're gonna go into the color tab. In here, we're gonna go into the tools of the windows, and then wait. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna set the cursor at the beginning of the clip. Go back to the color window. Oh, before we do that, actually, I, I'm gonna create a node. So I'm gonna select option C, and then we have another node. And as soon as you create one, it gives you an option to do a, one of the circle windows, or but you can change it over to a square if it's easier for you, but uh, I really like to use the pencil. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna hide the effects. Okay, so here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna create my points. It's one there, two, three, four, and five. Great, that's 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 my point. I mean, honestly, once I'm here, I'm gonna open the effects up, and what I can do is actually throw a Gaussian blur in there, and it will be blurry already. Or what we can do is open the color tab. And then I can bring this higher. And then I can, as you can tell, I'm already blue in the license plate. Or, like I mentioned before, just grab a Gaussian blur and throw them in there. And it's already blurry. Anyway, so we're gonna go back into the tab. We're gonna go into the tracker window. And then make sure it's on cloud tracker. I'm gonna click on the interact mode. And all you gotta do is now hit play just make sure that the cursor is at the beginning of the clip go back into the color window and then hit play and let it run as you can tell the tracker is actually tracking the license plate pretty much all the way into the length of the clip and then it will stop boom okay great so now we can go we can go back and we're gonna be go at the beginning of the plate uh, we're going to go full screen and we're going to play back. As you can tell, it actually follows good tracking of the license plate and it's pretty much blurred the whole time. Amazing. Okay, now we're going to get out of there by pressing escape. Now we're out of the escape mode and then we're going to go back a, little, a couple frames back and as you can tell, you can still see the plate. You know, even though it's not complete. So basically what we're going to do is try to make, how can we make this happen? So we're going to go back all the way to there. And all I gotta do is just expand the clip to the left. And let's see what happened. I'm gonna go full screen and play, and it's completely blurry. I'm gonna go back just to make sure there is no cutting any edges or anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna play back. Bam, it's there. And then it's all the way, all the way until we selected it was. Amazing. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. And be careful when you go to the Sixth Bridge. Bye-bye.